Rugby World Cup is the third largest sports event in the world. It's really the first time that sports hospitality has been offered at a tournament of this size here in Japan and we worked very hard over the past three years to make sure that every single customer has an unforgettable experience. We've been involved with the Rugby World Cup um, really since 2003. It was kind of before the start of SDH. We managed the hospitality program in 2003 in Australia and then after that we join forces with our other shareholder to create then what was called Rugby Travel and Hospitality with the unique proposals that had never been done before of managing both the hospitality and the travel program for Rugby World Cup. We've been involved in the past four Rugby World Cups. We've got a great heritage in Rugby World Cup and a great bank of knowledge of how that tournament really works. Essentially, it started when STH Group in the UK um, won the rights to, to hospitality both at the Rugby World Cup in 2015 and 2019. Um, and we felt that we needed to have a local partner here in Japan to set up the business and to run the hospitality program. Someone that we could trust and work with that was well known in Japan that had a, had a great brand presence. So we worked with a local company called JTB. Um, Japan's largest travel agency um, and we've been working with them very closely since uh, since 2017. Working with JTB has allowed us to adapt and really understand the Japanese market. We have some staff from the UK who've got retained expertise of Rugby World Cup but a lot of sales staff from Japan because they're good with the relationships in Japan. One of the challenges in Japan is that we would normally work in countries where these stadiums have quite extensive hospitality facilities built in. Because sport hospitality doesn't really exist here as an industry, we're working in stadiums where there's really no hospitality facilities. So we almost had to create everything from scratch, either within existing facilities that don't normally host hospitality or in building temporary structures. And then the other challenge, of course, is finding the suppliers to service that in that new industry. There are 12 venues, um, but our flagship structure is going to be at the uh, Yokohama National Stadium. So we've developed a temporary structure that sits, sits just outside of the stadium. It will hold 1,300 people. Now we have a mixture of uh, an open restaurant, which will hold roughly 700 guests. And we have a number of different private suites um, which have been taken by various corporations here in Japan, multinational and Japanese corporations. Uh, those suites range from 20 people up to our largest one which will hold 180 uh, people. So depending on, the, on what the customer is looking for and what their needs are, we've been able to um, develop a program that suits each of them. For Rugby World Cup 2019, we've created a variety of packages, um, different options and different price points and experiences. Um, our main stadium at Yokohama includes several packages ranging from private suites to shared restaurants um, to a more informal settings in Yokohama Arena. Um, regionally, outside of Yokohama, in the other 11 venues, we have um, simplified the product to have only um, two packages and that's proved really uh, successful for us and, and given us a good range of options for our customers. We've been really pleased with our sales and which have exceeded 60,000 packages and beyond 10 billion yen in uh, revenue. So um, a fantastic uptake from both the domestic market and the international market. The rights holders these days see the major travel and hospitality programs as a major enhancement of their their event. There's the obvious uh, benefit of monetizing that opportunity, but it isn't just that as well. It's about enhancing the name of the tournament itself, bringing that extra fan experience. If people really enjoy that experience, that makes them lifelong advocates of the event itself. And that's the power of sport hospitality. It's a memory that stays with you for the rest of your life.